It's not very often that we see the opera depicted in gaming, and when it is, it tends to be little more than another backdrop to traverse. But back in 1994, Final Fantasy VI brought the opera front and center, complete with a multi-act mini-script and a defining musical score. It all begins in the town of Jador. Taking pride in its wealth and class, the city is home to auctions, shops, and galleries. Upon entering a mansion at the north end of town, you encounter the empresario of the local opera, who momentarily mistakes Sellas for his star singer, Maria. After he departs, you discover that he dropped a letter from a love-struck gambler named Setzer, detailing an intent to abduct Maria and take her for his wife. After learning that this Setzer is the owner of the world's only airship, it becomes clear that the eccentric stalker is the ticket you need to reach the Empire. When you arrive at the Opera House, Locke takes the Empresario aside and lays out his plan. With her uncanny resemblance to Maria, Sellas can serve as the singer's double. And when Setzer comes to kidnap her, the rest of the party can tail him back to his ship. Once everyone agrees with this proposal, it's time for the show to begin. The opera, as planned, consists of three acts, telling the story of lovers caught in a war between two countries, simply known as the East and the West. In Act 1, Draco, the hero of the West, is struck down on the battlefield and calls out to his beloved Maria. In Act 2, Maria confesses her undying love to Draco, while her attendants prod her to move on and court her conqueror, the Prince of the East. And in Act 3, a waltz between Maria and Prince Rolfs is interrupted as Draco arrives and challenges the prince to a duel. However, there's more here than simply a long extended cutscene. During Act 1, Locke excuses himself to check on Sellas backstage, and as control shifts to the costume general, you'll learn that it's your responsibility to memorize her lines and take her cues on stage. Get it wrong, and the show will come to an abrupt halt, prompting you to try again the following night. The next break comes during the duel, when Locke discovers that Ultros, their tentacled comic relief nemesis, has hatched up a scheme of his own, planning to flatten the star with a weight from the rafters. The clock counts down as you rush to stop him, and pesky racks on the catwalk whittle away your time. Reaching Ultros sends the cephalopod and your party crashing to the stage, knocking Rolfs and Draco out cold. Locke plays it off, acting like it's all part of the show, and the orchestra strikes a rousing battle theme as the difficult boss fight takes center stage. As the monster flees, Setzer arrives on cue to nab Sellas. The party exits to follow him, and our time at the opera comes to an end, with one last musical number closing the scene. While it may not seem like much by today's standards, the opera scene in Final Fantasy VI was incredibly elaborate for its time, and proved to be one of the game's most memorable moments. The musical score for these scenes, complete with faux vocals, aspired beyond the limitations of the hardware, and live performances of the opera songs are still favorites in Final Fantasy concerts today. What's also interesting to note is that even in this highbrow affair, Final Fantasy still didn't take itself too seriously. Sellas and Locke's reactions are priceless. When experimenting with a bank of switches turns out the lights or drops you unexpectedly into a flustered audience. So while there's an unmistakable sense of grandeur, the scene remains charming and relatable. In all, the opera and Final Fantasy VI left a profound impact on players, and even inspired some to record and share the scene via VHS. It elevated our perception of what video games could be, and it was just a hint of where Square would take its cinematics in the years to come. Catch a new episode of Level every Monday. Stages, maps, boss battles, and beyond, critiqued and handpicked by the staff of Game Trailers, and soon, you as well as the first season of Level evolves to showcase more tastes, connections, and good old design. See this and other GT shows and game reviews on the GT Originals iOS app, available now on the App Store.